This episode exhibits addictive behavior that is detrimental to one's health. Spectators should not attempt. Hi, I'm Blossom. I'm four years old and I live at the DRTC in Edmonton, Alberta. I'm addicted to Tide. I started eating it about two years ago. It all started when I was feeling really sick and my farmer gave me some. Soon after, I felt way better. Now whenever I eat it, I immediately feel good and get the need to eat more of it. My favorite is powdered Tide. It's salty and sweet and tastes really good. I started off only eating it every few days, but now I eat it at least twice a day and sometimes more. Blossom, I just don't understand why you keep doing this to yourself. Eating that stuff is like so gross. I don't know why you're making such a big deal about it. It's not like it's taking over my life. The farmer has given us Tide sometimes when we have sore tummies, but Blossom has just become obsessed with it. I just don't know what happened to make her start doing this, and I'm just really scared something bad is going to happen to her. <laughs> Blossom eats approximately four tablespoons of Tide twice daily. If Blossom continues with her habit, she would be eating 182 cups of Tide in a year. Sneaking into other people's houses to eat Tide has been the low point for Blossom. My supply of Tide soap keeps diminishing at a faster rate than possible. Someone must be stealing it. I thought I was imagining this until I discovered the box of Tide was left open one day. And then, the next day, I saw powder hoof prints in my laundry area. I really think you should go see a therapist or something. Would you at least just give it a try? Well, I guess I could go do that. Blossom, can you tell me how it makes you feel to eat Tide? Well, it makes me feel skinny. This is very dangerous. Basing how you feel on how you look is very self-destructive. Blossom needs to gain the confidence to feel good about herself without Tide. She's using it as a safety blanket. Eventually, this won't be good enough for her. Would you consider maybe trying to eat less Tide? I could try and do that. Good. I think that this is a great start to your recovery. <gasps> there you girls are. What's going on here? So, uh... What are you girls doing here anyways? I've been looking for you all day. Blossom is here for counseling. Counseling? For a cow? She's addicted to Tide. Like laundry detergent? That can be useful, as long as it's used in moderation. Wait, what do you mean? Tide can be good for us? It can be. Listen here, I'll tell your girls all about it. Cows are ruminants, meaning that it chews cud that has been regurgitated from its rumen. The stomach of a ruminant is split into four unique chambers, the reticulum, rumen, omasum, and abomasum. Gas production is a normal byproduct of microbial fermentation, and the majority is released through erectation or belching. Ruminal tympani, also known as bloat, is the excessive expansion of the rumen and reticulum due to a buildup of gases. There are two main types of bloat. Secondary ruminal tympani, or free gas bloat, occurs when the cow cannot erectate due to physiological or physical problems that block the esophagus. Primary ruminal tympani, or frothy bloat, occurs as a result of dietary consequences, such as eating legume-rich grasses or starchy grains. If left untreated, the continued swelling will cause labored breathing, a cease in rumen contractions, and eventually death. Detergent is a defoaming agent and is only used to treat frothy bloat. A detergent and water solution is poured into the rumen through its stomach tube, which will break down the foamy mixture. Some alternative methods include products containing menensin or inserting a trocar in emergencies. Now do you girls understand? Good. Now let's get back to the field. Gangnam Style. Gangnam Style.